make it or not. You know, and uh, Tanner and Jacob got stuck there behind Tracy Hines a little bit, and I got clear and was able to wheel them in, but about the time I got there, they cleared Tracy and I couldn't, and so they got away again. And, uh, you know, I, as, as good a pace as they were running, I didn't know if I could get them or get to them, you know, let alone be able to pass them. And, uh, you know, some of the lap cars there held up the leader a little bit, just makes you second guess uh, when you're out front and, uh, and just able, you know, to get it done. The circumstances fell how they were. And uh, I tell you what, my, uh, my TK Motorsports car was awesome. Uh, and so, you know, I, I didn't qualify a uh, quick time, but that was probably my doing, you know, just missing it a little bit. But, uh, man, that thing was great in the race and uh, a pleasure to drive and, and glad to, to finally win a national sprint car race for him. Tanner, I mean, you went down to the bottom trying to get around uh, Jacob, yeah. dropping it up the top side. Did, did yeah. you kind of figure your brother was going to grab that on you? I mean, I figured he was kind of there, you know, so uh, every time I was making a, trying to make a move on Jacob, I was, I was definitely watching for Cody. Uh, I knew I knew that all day his car had been a little bit looser than mine was, and uh, you know I got real real tight there in the in the middle of the race, and I was still able to try and race with Jacob a little bit and got him to wear his stuff out, but uh, you know didn't really have the the car to make the move, and uh, when I finally saw Cody there, I kind of kind of had to let him go for a second because uh, you know I knew his car was uh, where mine was hurting, his was probably a little bit better, and uh, you know it was uh, figured at least if one of us could get the win, that'd be better than than neither of us. Yeah. No, I mean, I think I think Tanner putting pressure on Jacob there before I could get to them, you know, made a major factor in the race. Uh, these sprint cars, uh, you know, a lot of horsepower and and putting pressure on the leader and making them work for it every lap, you know, is what really allowed me to catch up and uh, at least have a chance at it. So uh, definitely glad to, to have both of us finish first and second. You guys were running tight all night. I mean, right from the start, you were in the, you know three wide uh, with uh, Tracy and Jacob. Yeah. Did you expect that the whole way through? I mean, I don't think we expected it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no. Uh, you know, when when Jacob kind of made that move on there to uh, to peg me behind uh, Tracy, and uh, after seeing how good his car was qualifying, I uh, I was hoping that he wasn't going to check out and leave us in the dust. But uh, you know, I, I almost halfway expected it, and then uh, you know we were just able to uh, kind of make a little bit of changes with my line and. Uh, Ended up staying there, leaving pressure on him. So, so at the end, you know, we could uh, we could snatch up a one-two for the for the TK Motorsports team. Last lap, you guys were you're in the lead, coming up on lap traffic. I know he's looking to make a move. Were you worried about that lap traffic on the last lap? Uh, yeah, I mean, I didn't even realize it was the last lap. You know, but uh, you know, with lap cars, uh, it, it's always tricky. You know, I, I knew I got the lead because of lap cars, and so I sure I sure didn't want to give it away, but. Uh, you know, being the first car there, you have to make the best decision you can and hope it's the right one. So, uh, you know, I made the move to the inside, and, and uh, luckily enough for me tonight, that was the right decision to make on the gamble. So, uh, very happy with the way it turned out. Great run, guys. Hey, thank you. There you go. Thanks. Thanks. Thank you very much. <laughs> yeah. What What does it mean to win here at Lucas Oil Raceway, you know, the first Thursday Night Thunder coming back, you know, trying to get this franchise re-going? Well, that means a ton to me. You know, uh, Tanner and I are both very involved with 6R Racing in the Silver Crown Division, and we actually keep our, our sprint cars at their shop. And uh, and they won their first race uh, in Thursday Night Thunder, and that's really what got them started. Uh, and that was 23 years ago, the same year that I was born. And so to kind of be able to kick that back off, you know, with, with Luke Soil taking over the speed right here, and the uh, the revival of Thursday Night Thunder, uh, means a lot to me. And I know it's going to mean a lot to the guys, too. And so hopefully... Uh, this can be the first night of a great thing, you know, for, for Tan and I here at Lucas Oil Raceway and as well as for the track and the fans uh, with Thursday Night Thunder coming back. And then, Tanner, for you, talk about, you know, a couple weeks coming back and the midgets night before the 500, another, you know, pretty large esteemed race. What are your thoughts coming back? Yeah, you know, uh, hopefully uh, hopefully I can repeat. Uh, last year I actually didn't know on Monday of that week that I even had a ride for, for the night before. And then, uh, you know, actually coming in and winning the deal was – was awesome, but uh, you know there's definitely a lot more pressure this year to uh, to try and return, and then uh, now the purse is bumped up from six thousand to win to twenty thousand to win. So uh, you know everybody will bring their a game here, and uh, hopefully I'll I'll be able to uh, bring mine. You know my my two cents on that kind of is just that you know it was very neat last year they had two national midget races here. Uh, Tanner picked up the first one, and I got the second one. So uh, you know I'm with the same team coming back to Wilkie Pack Motorsports, and, and Tanner had a great run uh, going at Turkey Night with his new team, uh, Don Fikes RFMS Racing. And so uh, even though we're on different teams, I'm excited for us as brothers to have a good shot at coming in and uh, putting on a good show for the fans here at Light Four Five Hundred. Good deal. Perfect. Congratulations. Thank, Thank you. Guys. Thank you both. Thank you. Thank you.